So hi, hello and welcome, Mike Rob Hunter here. Back in the year 2016, I made my very first uh, microscopy video and I even uploaded it uh, to a YouTube channel, one that doesn't exist anymore. I started a new, new YouTube channel, but I recently found uh, those very first videos that I made and I would like to show them to you again and I would like to also comment uh, a little bit on my own video editing skills <laughs> of that time. and. Uh, yeah, the video is already running, but I think we're going to start at the very beginning. And the very first video that I made actually was um, about uh, a dandelion. So I put a dandelion under the microscope. Uh, it must have been springtime, obviously. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I simply took some of those uh, seeds from a dandelion and I prepared a wet mount um, to show you how it looks like under the microscope. At that time, I did not even add any voice uh, comments. I simply added some music. I just leave the music out right now. Uh, for the sake of uh, the ease of understanding. Yeah, those plastic containers, those white plastic containers, I still like to use these days. Um, yeah, they're used uh, for actually uh, creams uh, from the in a drugstore. When you get some creams, uh, then they put them into those plastic containers and I bought myself a whole bunch of them uh, directly uh, from the shop. And uh, here they are the seeds. And uh, what I've done is, is, of course, I used some scissors to carefully cut away the actual seed so that I can only um, use the shoe uh, of the dandelion um, yeah, for microscopy. And uh, I think one of the big uh, editing differences that you already see right now is that I really took my time. <laughs> so this is a little bit, uh, sometimes I would say even tedious to watch. Uh, right now I have a much faster editing style and I cut away all of the pauses and everything so that uh, the video ke keeps on moving. Yeah. So I basically push the, the specimen into the drop of water here and I think I have to add now a cover glass. Am I doing that? No, I'm picking up the next one. <laughs> yeah, so this video indeed is a little bit very, um, yeah, very long to watch, uh, but uh, I also wanted to see a little bit um, how my actual um, video editing skills looked like or video um, formatting skills looked like um, when I actually prepare the post uh, for post processing, because usually when I make a video, I always have to uh, do some post processing, increase uh, the color contrast sometimes, all these things. So let's see how well I was doing that. And uh, yeah, because I thought at that time that the video is really great. Okay, but look, look, all of the the pauses and the yeah breaks uh, in between um, something that I would have removed these days. Okay, so here uh, I put a cover glass on top, and now finally you can put it under the microscope. Um, where's the microscope? Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm adding yet more water here. Okay, um, so evidently the specimen was not thin enough. Okay, um, yeah, don't keep the viewer waiting. I mean, even for me, this video is a little bit uh, too long to watch right now. Um, so yeah, keep it short. It's totally not necessary. Um, and actually, it, it's also not necessary to uh, fill it up completely with water because the important part was already surrounded by water. Okay, but now we can finally uh, put it under the microscope. Here it is. Uh, I was using my mobile phone evidently, so it's kind of shaky and a little bit underexposed as well. And uh, how does the picture look like? Here it is. Okay, mm, yeah, a little bit dark, um, I would say. Uh, so I guess uh, and then there's not, there are not too many details to see here. Uh, this was a picture that I were used some digital zooming to to actually yeah get some motion into the whole thing. Yeah, here it's a little bit too bright, I would say a little bit overexposed, but you can see a little bit some of the air inside the structure as well. Um, yeah, and here, ah, this is way beyond, this is way beyond the resolution limit of my microscope here. Should not have zoomed in that much because you can see the diffraction patterns. Oh, yeah, and this here, yeah, must be in dark field, I would say. And also the structures here are a little bit too bright. I think I used the auto exposure setting of uh, my camera here. Yeah, this here seems to be epi illumination with light coming from the top. So I, I probably used my four times magnifying objective and uh, with light from the top. And this is pretty bad. Okay, <laughs> look at this. Uh, this is pretty bad because uh, it's way overexposed. The background is dark, that's fine. But the actual, the structure of interest is almost completely white. 
um, it's uh, way overexposed and this kind of shows a little bit that the camera that I used to use the automatic exposure settings. Okay, and that's it. That was the end of the video. Okay, hmm. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm going to rate the whole thing. I'm, obviously, I'm going to rate it maybe one star out of three <laughs> uh, because uh, uh, I think uh, it's a little bit too tedious to watch. Everything could have been reduced maybe down to a minute or two. Um, yeah. But uh, still, it was one of my first videos uh, to watch and we still learned a little bit uh, concerning specimen preparation from this year. I'm going to leave it at that and in the next uh, upcoming uh, videos, I'm also going to show you some of my other early videos that I have not shown you yet. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around next time and bye-bye. Uh,